question number first construct the following quadrilaterals here we are on second part of exercise 4.3 chapter 4th practical geometry mathematics class 8th in this case we have to construct a quadrilateral whose name should be plan that is p l a n in order to construct this quadrilateral plan we need to make a plan that is first of all we must check which information we are provided in the question so first of all using cyclicity as we have discussed in previous interactions again we are telling you with a better understanding it is a better idea to watch previous tutorials under this chapter name practical geometry starting from exercise 4.1 because there we have made various things clear that is various terms like adjusting our compasses and how to use compasses in order to construct our quadrilateral again a reminder we are only using compasses in trying to construct our given figures with this and with the help of cyclicity let's check the question el equals to 4 cm el is continuous therefore it must be the side of this quadrilateral la la is again continuous and its measurement is 6.5 cm therefore it must be the side of this quadrilateral followed with three angles so we have studied under this exercise 4.3 if we are given with two sides measurement and three angles we can construct a quadrilateral easily with that idea let's first fall follow, follow our step number 0 that we also call as rough sketch we have told you in previous parts that it is better practice to first fall construct the given side where we are given angle as well so let's consider side pl equals to 4 cm are we given any angle measurement over p or l well yes p is 90 degrees which can be easily constructed therefore we are considering line segment pl equals to 4 cm as our first point to start with our construction in our rough sketch so with the help of ruler and pencil we constructed this line segment and jotted down its measurement as equal to 4 cm and its vertices as p and l the first information has been jotted down now we know that at angle p we need to construct 90 degrees so we constructed this ray 90 degrees why we are calling it ray because we do not have its end point yet therefore we constructed this ray approximately 90 degrees and stop constructing it at a certain distance now let's focus on vertex l here we observe we are not given with measurement of angle l and that can be easily found with the angle sum property of a quadrilateral we are given with measurement of three angles and if we subtract all these angles from 360 degrees we will be able to know the measurement of angle l because sum of all the four internal angles of a quadrilateral equals to 360 degrees so by calculation we found its measurement as 75 degrees this is easy step we need not to tell you how we came to this process if you are unable to find out this that means your previous concepts are not clear you must first watch previous tutorials about the properties of quadrilateral so we come to know that at angle l we need to construct 75 degrees so 90 degrees would be perpendicular on this vertex l so 75 degrees will be less so we approximately constructed this ray at l and stop at a certain distance that certain distance should be in proportion to this line segment 4 cm now when we watch at the information provided to us we come to know that we are given with a distance of la equals to 6.5 cm with this we know that this ray can be stopped at a point a whose distance should be 6.5 cm so the same has been written on this rough sketch with this we have constructed three vertices that is p l and a now we know angle a equals to 110 degrees so 90 degrees will be perpendicular on this line segment la so it would go something like this that means 110 degrees will be right side to this that is this angle should be large enough so that it must look like 110 degrees we elongate it and we extend our ray wherever it meets it is a required angle n whose measurement is equal to 85 degrees in our construction when we will complete in these steps this ultimate angle should equate to 85 degrees this will be only possible when other angles are drawn correctly 
With this, we have jotted down all the given information that was provided to us in this question on this rough sketch. Now, using this rough sketch, we need not to watch these information again and again. Only using rough sketch, we will be able to construct our final diagram with actual measurements. So step number first, we are going to construct line segment PL. So using ruler, we constructed a line segment equal to 4 cm and we jotted down its vertices as equal to P and L. Again, pause it and try to construct it by your own. In step second, we need to construct 90 degrees at angle P and using compasses, we can easily construct it. The same has been shown in step number second. We adjust the compasses at a distance of 2 cm, put the needle over at vertex P and construct this arc. Now we put our needle at this point where this arc intersected at line segment PL. Without changing the length of the compasses that was already set to 2 cm, we construct this arc that makes our 60 degrees. Again we put our needle over here to construct another 60 degrees that is wherever it intersect the previous drawn arc. So we have constructed 260 degrees that is this angle and this angle. Now if we will bisect this 60 degrees into two halves that will be 30 degrees addition to previous 60 degrees. So 60 plus 30 will give you 90 degrees. For that we need to bisect this 60 degrees. In order to bisect this 60 degrees we will put a needle over here and without changing the compasses that was already set to 2 cm, we construct this arc. Now we put needle over here and construct this arc. Wherever these both arcs intersect, that will be our required bisection of this angle. So this is 60 degrees and another 30 degrees will give us 90 degrees. So with this, we have successfully constructed 90 degrees at vertex P. That completes our step second. Again, pause it and try to construct it by your own. In step third, we will construct the 75 degrees on vertex L. Here if we subtract 15 from 90 degrees, we can easily construct 75 degrees. So let's first of all try to construct 90 degrees. Using the same compasses adjustment, we put our needle at vertex L and construct this arc. Again, we put our needle at this intersection and construct this arc that is 60 degrees. Now we put our needle over here and construct this arc that is another 60 degrees. Now we need to bisect this 60 degrees into two equal halves. For that we put our needle over here and construct this arc. Now we put our needle over this intersection and construct this arc. With this we construct dotted lines crossing this intersection point with vertex L. That gives us 90 degrees. Now we need to construct another 15 degrees which can be subtracted from this 90 degrees in order to get our final angle 75 degrees. So when we constructed 90 degrees, this angle became 30 degrees because this was 30 degrees. That is what this bisection did. So if we bisect this 30 degrees into two equal halves, that will give us 15 degrees. So for that, we put a needle over here and construct this arc. This is just an elongation of this arc. Again, we put the needle over here because we are bisecting this much angle, that is 30 degrees. Put a needle over here and construct this arc. So the point of intersection is our required point and we join it with an ray that goes from vertex L. We constructed it with a solid line because this is the final angle 75 degrees that is required. Again pause it and try to construct it by your own. Step number fourth. We are given with this measurement as 6.5 cm so we will readjust our compasses at a distance of 6.5 cm and put needle over L and wherever it intersect this ray that has been drawn from vertex L that will be our required vertex A and we can jot down its measurement as equal to 6.5 cm. That completes our step fourth. Again, pause it and try to construct yourself. In step number five, we are here right now. We need to construct 110 degrees. With practice, we know 
that 110 degrees cannot be constructed with the help of compasses. If in any tutorial you watched the construction of 110 degrees using compasses only, that is an approximate value. We cannot exactly construct 110 degrees because compasses uses bisection method and this is not possible with the help of compasses. So we are forced to use protractor in this case. So we put the origin of our protractor at vertex A and coincided its horizontal line with our line segment LA. And wherever 110 has been written, we construct a solid line there. Such a way that we intersect it with an arc PN. With this, we have constructed at 110 degrees using our protector because it is a rare case. Again, pause it and try to construct it by your own. In last step, step number six, well, this is your step number six. We simply make our work tidy. That is, we erase all the arcs, all the extended rays because we successfully found vertex n in step number five, which will be always equal to 85 degrees considering you have drawn previous angles correctly. If it is not equal to 85 degrees, that means you are not precise with your construction of the angles. And in last step, step number six, we jot down all the vertices. That is P L A N. It is again anti-clockwise direction with a measurement equals to four centimeter and 6.5 centimeter. It is same as our rough sketch and jotting down all the angles. 90 degrees can be represented with the help of square. Therefore, the same has been depicted with the help of square. Rest of the angles are written as it was in rough sketch. The new thing in this question we learned that in certain cases we cannot construct using compasses. There we are forced to use protector. With this, our second part of exercise 4.3, question number first, has been constructed.